Happy New Year, everyone. Mr. Comics 89 here. This is my 2022 wish list for the upcoming year. This last year was quite successful. It was quite successful. I had, well, 10 items listed on here, although one of them was three books, which was Amazing Spider Man 96, 97, 98. But because they are all the drug related, no Comic Code Authority stamp, they're all on one spot. So I got everything off the list. Amazing Spider-Man 6, 7, 10, 121, 210, ASM Annual Number 1, uh, I think that's 25, um, Ultimate Spider-Man Number 1. The only thing I didn't get off the 2021 wish list was One Woman in 72, the Bolin cover where she's like on the shield with the spear and a sideways look. Because it wasn't Amazing Spider-Man and I've been really going hard for my goal of collecting a, a complete run of ASM. It just fell by the wayside because long, I could never justify spending 80 bucks on our, or 60, 70, 80, 100 bucks on the Wonder Woman when I could spend that on a couple of issues of ASM. I just could never justify it. So, so that's the only thing. Didn't complete the list, but I was dang close. But this is my 2022 wish list. So here we go. Um, I have, technically I have 12 books on here, but um, I, I'm only going, but uh, only 11 of them are the pure gold I'm chasing after. So the bonus book, which is here, is ASM 538, the Obama, President Obama inaugural cover, the first print. I have every single other issue of President Obama for ASM. I'm a I'm a supporter of him and all that, so no politics involved here. So please, if you have something to say, you know your channel, please. You know, so this is just I love this I love these Obama covers, and I want to collect all of them. And this is just the last one I need. So the first print, that's the bonus print. That's the if I don't get this book in 2022, I'm not going to be cr losing sleep over it. All right, the, the the books here now are in no particular order. You know, I don't have, I don't, I don't, I didn't take time to place them in a list of desirability. So, so I'm just going to read them off from the, or I'm going to, I'm going to read them off from where I started them on the list here. So, first up here, Venom Lethal Protector number one. I did, sad thing is, I did have this book at one point. I had it graded at 9.4. Um, and I just decided just to sell it. And now I want it back. And um, I've I've learned and I've evolved in my collecting of collecting of ASM Spider Man a full complete run that I started just branching out with other keys and branching out into other Spider Man keys, not just ASM but Spider Man keys. So I want Venom the Protection Number One back. Um, ideally, I would like it in a nine point eight. I'd love to get it in a nine point eight. However, I think I'll be happy in any kind of grade, but 9.4 or higher is what I really want for this grade, but 9.8 is that what I really, really, really want. All right, next up on the list, Amazing Spider-Man number 23. Um, I think this is a fourth appearance of the Green Goblin, I can't remember, but... um. As of right now, January 1st, 2022, this is the lowest ASM book that I need. I have 1 through 22, you know, 25 and, and up and all that. Like I said, I have 11 books left that I need to get to complete a full run of ASM. Number 23 here is the lowest book in the numbering that I need still. All right, next... Amazing Spider-Man number 24. This is another one like something that I need. I have a few I don't I, uh, I have a few issues of ASM that I'm particularly going after this year. And uh, the, my, the two lowest I have on the list are I definitely need candidates because once I complete once I complete uh, 22 and 23 or 20, no, 24 and tw 23 and 24 here, once I complete those two books, the next lowest book I would need to get is 54. And those aren't overly expensive from there. They are, you know, under 100 to under 100 bucks, you can kind of get them. 
So, but the other ones can be a little more for the right grade I want. Might be a little more pricey. So, but those particular two books, 23 and 24, I'm really going after in 2022 here. All right, next up, on number four, Spectacular Spider-Man number 90. Um, Spider-Man related keys because it's a kind of a a throw in in the mix for like the throw in for the mix, you know, around the same time that um, the first black suit Spider-Man appeared in <coughs> Marvel Team Up and ASM 252. You know, so this is just another book book that came out that month, you know, with the black suit, and I just I want it. So because of that, this connection to the black suit, it's a key to me. So that's why I'm wanting it. All right. This next one here is another one of those two books in one spot. I want to get them both. I want to get them both, but um, I'll settle for the first one if I can only pick get one, I think. I want Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur number one, but I also want Devil Dinosaur, the original number one. So these two Devil Dinosaur books, you know, I have Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur issue number three, that I found for a, a dollar or two at a flea market. And I liked the artwork. I love the artwork in there. The cartoonish, cutesy kind of thing. I really liked it. It was it was a really, really pleasant to look at. I mean, that's what I, I would call it a pleasant, it was a pleasant to look at artwork. That's, you know, kind of thing. So I want, I really wanted to more, see more of that artwork. And I just, I said, I'm branching out. I'm almost, I almost have a complete ASM run what do I collect after this? What is my goal after I complete that? And part of my evolution as a collector is I'm branching out into other book, other keys. You know, I'm not going to get full runs of every single issue, every single character I touch. But I want a, I want a good assortment of old keys like Spectacular Spider-Man and new keys like Moon Girl number one. You know, these characters that might be irrelevant in 20 years. But I still want it as part of my collection. You know what I mean? Something that holds value only to the collector, but the market as a whole are like, eh, I'll give you 30 bucks for it. It might be in the future for it, but I still want it now. All right. This next one is definitely a book that's not going down anytime soon. And I want to get it before it um, doubles in value. Ultimate Fallout number four. The first appearance of Miles Morales. You know, Spider-Man. Here's the very sad thing about this. A year and a half ago, or something like that, before the before the before the game, you know, game news that first turned this from a twenty dollar key into an eight hundred dollar key, I got my hands on a second print of this book. The first print here, his head's in shadow. You can't really see who he is. The second print, you can see it's Miles Morales. I could have grabbed it for, I think, 10 bucks. I found it, had my hands on it at Mile High Comics. I had my hands on it. And I passed it up for other ASM books at the time. I was already spending way too much money, you know, at the time. And 10 bucks more just wasn't justifiable. Well, nowadays it was completely justifiable. And I could have made it work. <laughs> uh, Ideally, I want the first print here. I really want, you can't see his face, but I will settle for a second print face exposed. Now the only question, now the only question is looking at it, what grade will I eventually want? Do I, do I want it graded in? I would rather have it graded than raw because I have a um, facsimile I have a facsimile, the facsimile reprint of Ultimate Fallout number four, where his face isn't there, so I can read that book anytime I want. But I want the original. I do want the original. It's one of those. It's one of those books where a facsimile just isn't good enough. I want the original. You know, I'm sure there are people out there who understand me. I mean, comment down below if you understand where I'm coming from. Comment down below and let me know. You know, if there's a particular book like that for you that you might have a reprint of it you might have a facsimile of it but you just want that original in your hand so let me know i'm not alone out there <laughs> all right next up um thor number one 
This is the Jane Foster as female Thor with a movie coming out. I want this book. I have it in a True Believers. Um, I'm deciding if I, I I would like it in the I would like it in the first print in the red, but I am not committed to that. I will I might I'm not committed to that. If I find the right book for the right price, I might do it. Like I have Edge of Spider Verse number two. It is a what is it? It's a fourth print because the book's behind here. It's a fourth print. Now I would like the first print with the bluish cover on it. It's much prettier. But I found it a 9.4 signature series by the um, artist, signed by the artist in the in the book. That cover w worked out good in the fourth print because I felt that, you know what? The pinkish purple uh, in the background instead of the blue fits Gwen Stacy as a as a girl. You know, I thought it fit Gwen Stacy as a girl. So, And it's not like this book was ever leaving the personal collection. So it was like... If I was going to eventually sell or flip books, yeah, you might want the first print. But since this is a PC book that I was never going to really get rid of, fourth print is a perfectly acceptable book. You know, low grade is better than no grade. Well, sometimes second sometimes second print is better than first print. Or second print is better than no print. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I haven't decided yet if I want, well, you know, what, what print I want. Although I'm kind of in love with the idea of, I think it's a second print for Thor number one, because my favorite color is blue, and the color on that one's blue. So, I don't know. I'm, I'll am really have to look into it more, but Thor number one is definitely on the list here. Alright, this next one here. I am currently reading Venom. The um, the new the, the new volume of Venom and all that. I picked up Venom number one when it came out, right after the Venom 250, issue number 250, you know kind of thing, but I'm picking up the new arc of Venom, you know, and I start reading the first two issues, and I'm enjoying it. I am really enjoying it. And so I think I might continue to pick up Venom. You know, I might actually add Venom to my pull list. So, I'm picking up a few Venom-related keys. And one of them here is Venom number three, the, um, I think the origin, first appearance of Null. A big book, obviously. Another big dang book so but if i'm getting a few keys for for venom this is definitely one i want to pick up especially where the story seems to be going i am enjoying it all right and the uh, number 10 or no number nine here on the list savage she hulk number one i've literally had this book in my hands twice once at a con my very first con it was 70 bucks at the time um i think i had it somewhere else or saw it at a con somewhere else. Didn't pick it up. But with it coming out on Disney Plus, I do enjoy Sensational She Hulk. I think I want the last character that Stan Lee helped create, which is that which is She Hulk here. And so I just I'm not gonna get very many She Hulks. Probably I don't know. I might, I think I'm I'm not sure what I'm gonna do as far as collecting She Hulk. <sighs> Sorry. So I have a She Hulk in any capacity, but um I do at least want this first issue here, her first appearance. So, um, at the very least, because I enjoy, I think I have this in a True Believers, and I did enjoy the story a lot. All right, and the last book on my list for 2022 is Amazing Spider-Man 102. So, like I said, I had 11 key, I had 11 books of Amazing of Spider-Man left to complete a full ASM run. Only three from the 11 are on the list for personal personal i need to track these down first kind of books or i really want to get it you know i'm hoping i'm really the way i'm going i might actually get a full run of asm by the time i hit my four year youtube anniversary as a collector you know four years so i just have 11 more books i think i can do it i need to just get like two books a month and i will make it so i have to really be on the lookout for those for those issues but number 102 here I think it's the origin of Morbius. The movie coming out very, very soon. I already have a second print of ASM 101 that I enjoy far superior to the um, issue to the first print, which I have a facsimile of. I just enjoy the second print a lot more. But I need 102. You know where he has his six arms on the cover, very, very cool. And so, yep. Yeah. All right, so that's the list. 
Beef Little Protector, Venom Lethal Protector number one, ASM number 23, 24, 102, Spectacular Spider Man number 90, Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur, and Devil Dinosaur number one, both of them number one, Ultimate Fallout number four, first or second print, none of the other, none of the others are not acceptable. Thor number one, Venom number three, and Savage She Hulk number one, with the bonus, with the bonus of um, if I have time and if I can find the right copy, ASM 538, uh, first Obama variant. So that's it for my list. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you later.